Um, do you recall having an interview with reporters from The Hill on June 24th, 2019? Vaguely, yes. And do you recall where that interview took place? I think it was in the Oval Office. And uh, you're quoted just below that paragraph as saying as follows, and this one I'll read. Um, I'll say it with great respect. Number one, she's not my type. Number two, it never happened. It never happened, okay? And then the reporters say, the president said, said while well, seated behind the resolute desk in the Oval Office. See that? Yes, I do. Um, and the statement that I just read that said, begins, I'll say it with great respect. Um, that was a statement that you made to the reporters for The Hill on June 24, 2019, correct? Yes. And same set of questions. Um, I take it, sir, that you stand by that statement today? Yes, I do. All right, Mark, what do you got? Yeah, so I'm going to say this is our first point, really, where he's showing any stress. And the reason I'm going to say that is that uh, he, he comes forward, and at this point he does place his hand over his wrist. Now, the wrist is a very vulnerable part of your body. If you get your wrist damaged or taken control of, you're pretty much losing control potentially of the whole of the rest of your arm. So we tend to protect our wrists, our elbows, our knees, our ankles, other areas as well. But in the position that he's in, where he's tried to to lock it down and be comfortable, that for me is a little bit of a tell that this is this may be a problem for him. Uh, and he uses the word vaguely yes, vaguely yes, and then covers his arm. So what is his issue with this? I'm not quite sure what exactly in this is the biggest issue for him, but certainly he's not as comfortable in this particular moment as he has been in the rest, uh, for me, anyway. Uh, Greg, what do you think? Yeah, I think what I see is, yes, I see in the very beginning, his blink rate is through the roof, and you're like, what, what's going on? And then you see that concern in, in, in his brow. And when they, were, when they were asking about, I thought maybe it came from the last video, though. Not sure what the question was. These clips are so cut, guys, when we pull them out. This is what we get. The edits are there. When they ask, did you reach out to Bergdorf Goodman casually and very calmly, he just says, no reason to. Nothing happened. That's pretty calm, considering this is an accusation that it's this is a, a civil trial, I believe. But that in the day could have carried prison time for sure. He's got full attention and a set jaw and his mouth narrows. We typically associate the mouth narrowing with anger. Sometimes it's just you know something else, some negative emotion. But with him, I think it probably is anger. And then we see that blink rate go back up. His brow goes down. When I think a person is trying to convince you of something, it's not usually like this. So his brow is down, his eyes are narrowing, he's showing absolute confidence it didn't happen, and he's using contraction. Then he starts to rationalize why it didn't happen. That fits after you've said, but there's not a single brow rise in here, and I see telling, driving, brow down. That's pretty powerful. This is a good one for Trump. Chase, what do you got? Yeah, so right off the bat, we're, we're seeing a barrier gesture here. And this is when uh, objects, body parts, or anything else that a person willingly brings across their midline, I would say. And this also remains in place for a period of time. So right as the topic is being brought up, there's two big signals of stress here that I can see. There's just the barriering and the self-soothing or adapting, uh, as Scott and Greg would, would call it in the bodylanguagetactics.com workshop. So here are the nine origins of behavior that can comprise concealment, deception, and avoidance. Avoidance. So what's the likely psychological or physiological origin of the behavior that we're seeing? So it's either stress, fear, uncertainty, something social, an impairment, like a cognitive load increase or your, your brain's thinking too much, a concealment, an oxygenation, Scott just talked about this with the nostril flare or the, what the uh, behavior nerds call wing dilation. Then we have temperature regulation and avoidance. And we're seeing a lot of the avoidance. We're seeing a little bit of the stress, but a lot of avoidance here. That's all I got for this one. Right. I'll go next. <laughs> Good call out. Hey, I should have called you. Sorry. Yeah, in the last, last three videos. I'm sorry. I thought. Oh, no, no, it's okay. I, I should have called on you. My fault, guys. Sorry. I'm used to being last. It's okay. <laughs> I like being last. It doesn't bother me at all. It's kind of cool. Yeah. You play clean up. Try to, 
What yeah, do you got? I'm trying to, well, I'm, I'm trying to, <laughs> to not get the same things you guys got. So that's going to be the tough part. Okay. After he answers vaguely, yes. Once again, he reverts back to that same little pose he's got there. He's up close to the table. He's got his arms crossed and all that, leaning on the table. His voice, tone, and volume, and the cadence stay the same. Again, it's almost like he's bored. And was when he's asked, so you stand by that statement today? He makes good eye contact and widens his eyes as he says, yes, I do. So I, in my opinion, I'm not seeing much stress here. He affirms uh, that he still believes what he said. So maybe there's some stress there and I'm missing it, but I'm not seeing a whole lot. Um, and it may not seem it, but he's paying, he's paying really close attention to everything being said here. Every single word, everything that's written down, he's on that tight. He's not missing anything on that because he knows that's where the important things are. Everything's written down. What they're saying there, yeah, it's important. It'll be transcribed. And, and But he's what he's reading, he knows is important. So um, I'm gonna, you guys have covered most everything. One of those tape replays. Um, do you recall having an interview with reporters from The Hill on June 24th, 2019? Vaguely, yes. And do you recall where that interview took place? I think it was in the Oval Office. And uh, you're quoted just below that paragraph as saying as follows. And this one I'll read. Um, I'll say it with great respect. Number one, she's not my type. Number two, it never happened. It never happened, okay? And then the reporters say, the president said, said while well, seated behind the resolute desk in the Oval Office. See that? Yes, I do. Um, and the statement that I just read that said, begins, I'll say it with great respect. Um, that was a statement that you made to the reporters for The Hill on June 24, 2019, correct? Yes. And same set of questions. Um, I take it, sir, that you stand by that statement today? Yes, I do. If you like this video, get the full body language breakdown and analysis on our main channel by clicking this video right here.